Asylum demon? More like asylum demon. Like, damn. That motherfucker can smother like 50 of me. As they say, the bigger the cushion, the better the pushing. You know what I mean? <laughs> but seriously, you will die. But it will probably be the best sex you've ever had in your life. Taurus demon got that massive ammo, so he could probably stimulate your prostate with that blunt instrument, or he could smash the shit out of you with it. Depending on who you are, this could be a good thing. He'd be hella horny too if you catch my drift. For added spiciness, go to the demon ruins and you can get fucking gangbanged by a whole bunch of them. Again, you'll probably die, but if you're a furry, you'll already be in heaven anyways. Ah, the bell gargoyles. The first threesome on the list. Now the thing is, one of the gargoyles really likes to get into the action. He'd be jumping all over you, smashing you with his big pole and being generally aggressive. He's an aggressive lover. His friend, we'll call him Jim, likes to come a bit late. But Jim doesn't really do anything. He kinda just watches. Every now and again he'll blow some fire. I guess that could get you really stimulated if you're into that sort of thing. But you'll probably just tell him to knock it off. Their tails are detachable as well, so you could probably shove one of them into your holes. I don't know. She's beauty. She's grace. She usually flies off into outer space. You'll never fuck the moonlight butterfly. The bitch never lands, and when she does, she's usually eating. Would not recommend. Capra Demon likes to do it in really cramped spaces. He'd fuck you in a shoebox if he could. If you're into that rough sort of thing, then he's your demon. He loves to slam, I mean really slam into you, onto you, all over you. He also likes to let his dogs watch, which is really fucking weird. Put some peanut butter on your balls and you're all set to go. I mean, do I need to say anything? This thing is basically a walking pussy. Whether you want to put your dick into it is up to you. I personally wouldn't want to, but I know a lot of you sick fucks went to dragons. Legends say that the gaping dragon became this way because of hunger. Hungry for the dick, but seriously, it'll eat your dick and everything else attached to it. Absolutely fucking disgusting. I mean, the bottom half's pretty decent, I suppose, but the top half? Get the fuck out of here, what am I supposed to do with that? No redeemable qualities whatsoever. This guy is basically a giant walking dildo. Just don't be too rough with him, otherwise he'll fall off the roof and take out half a village. However, he likes to be as rough as possible. When he's had his way with you, don't be surprised if he tosses you off a building. Don't want to pay that child support, I guess. This one has it all. You like skinny guys with a big spear that goes fast? Bam! You like big fat guys with massive chodes? Boom! Best thing about this couple is that once you get rid of the one you don't like, the one you keep gets bigger and powerful. I suppose it's got some pretty big titties as well. This boss is like the Dark Souls of sex. She's okay I guess, if you like the whole tail thing I suppose it's also good. Wait, why are we zooming into the feet? What the fu- She's pretty cute, I mean she's got tentacles for feet but we can get past that. I don't see anything else wrong. Wait, that's not a woman? Finally, something for the furry demographic. I always say when I play these games that they should have more bosses catered to the furries. They gotta jack off too, you know. Although I think Sif could use a giant nappy that's just been filled, but that's just me obviously. Sif is probably one of the sexiest bosses in the game if you think about it. I mean, number one, he's scaleless. In terms of dragons, you can't get any more naked than that. Dude has literally stripped off his scales just for you. Unfortunately, he's not very loyal, so he'll probably cheat on you. But the cursed dragon puss is just too hard to resist. It makes me rock hard if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, I wish he would ceaselessly discharge in me, if you catch my cold. But judging by his name, this dude is just constantly coming. He's just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I'm coming day and night. I mean, it's terrific, right? <laughs> what more can you ask for? Asylum Demon is back baby, this time with a bit of fire. He's brought toys this time as well. The eyes of Love Catalyst will bring you pleasures for it to be unknown. Mainly a burning sensation in your urethra. Think of it this way. A human woman has two legs and one vagina between those two legs. So Centipede Demon has a hundred legs and... 
50 vaginas. Pussy jackpot. Absolutely worthless. The slide before this boss is more fun and pleasurable than fucking this boss ever would be. Who wants to have sex with a stupid bug? You have sex on the bed, not with it. Terrible. Man, I'm getting sick of this demon. I've already been flattened twice by the colossal buttocks of the last two demons. Not going for a third. I'm pretty sure I can't have children anymore at this point. Now, Pinwheel is interesting. You're basically in a foursome with this... thing. It's fucked up though. You will go to jail if you have sex with Pinwheel. You're having sex with an entire family. Where the fuck is Chris Hansen when you need him? Don't call him the Bone Lord for nothing. I mean, he's made entirely of bones and death miasma, but he also has a huge cock. His means of penetration are pretty unorthodox, but they get the job done. Every time he thrusts his Gravelord sword, you can hear a woman scream in ecstasy. This guy is the president of Bonatown. This is a sex gauntlet if I've ever seen one. The first king has his way of you and you think it's all over, then BAM! In comes another one just to ruin your shit. Some say New Londo was flooded because of the dark race, but I think it was flooded from all the wet panties. The ladies would have been gushing like waterfalls seeing those four sexy studs floating around the kingdom. Now now, I know Gwyn is old as fuck, but this dude fucks. I know this because he has kids. But you know what he also has? Money. And a kingdom. Gwyn will be your sugar daddy for the low low price of lighting yourself on fire so the age of fire can go on. He understandably doesn't like having the lights off either. Now, From Software really got the furries going with the Sanctuary Guardian. This sexy beast is hard, fast, and gives you a nice little shock as well. They even added a scorpion tail for those scorpion fetishists out there. Come back after you're done with the first one and there'll be two for even more fun. They could probably use some field nappies too. This dude loves to slam. If you're into lube and slipping and sliding, this guy is just for you. He got that corrupted dick, you know what I'm saying? He's gonna send your pussy into the shadow realm. Just don't remind him of his dog, otherwise he'll go limp. He's black. And you know what that means. He's got a big personality, what the fuck did you think I was gonna say? You thought Gwyn fucked? Manus fucks and trucks. Dude has four daughters and you bet your ass they're all hot as fuck. Well maybe not Nishandra, she got that ghoul pussy. But Manus got all the combos to make your shit tingle and he got those suction cups as well so he can pleasure you all night. And when you're in the abyss with him, the night lasts forever. I don't know what I was thinking with this video but now I feel really dirty. Oh.